Problem 19. An equilateral triangle is placed inside a larger equilateral triangle so that the region between them can be divided into three congruent trapezoids, as shown below. The side length of the inner triangle is two-thirds the side length of the larger triangle. What is the ratio of area of one of the trapezoids to the area of one of the inner triangles? So, don't be frazzled. Typically, for a ratio of areas, you always want to suppose one variable, and then the variable typically cancels out within the ratio. So let's see if this is the case. I did not do it yet. So let's suppose the outer outer um, side length of this triangle is, is x. Well, the outer triangle is x, and the inside would be 2 thirds x, right? So then now that we have this, what is the area of an equilateral triangle? Well, the equilateral triangle area would be equal to 3 fourths times, or root 3 over 4, sorry. It would be root 3 over 4 times the side. Let's say that's r, r squared. So if that's the formula, then this is equal to root 3 over 4 times x squared. That would be equal to the larger triangle. But what about the smaller triangle? The smaller triangle would be equal to root 3 over 4 times um, 2 over 3x squared, right? And that must be equal to root 3 over 9 um, times x squared. So with this information, what is the area of that trapezoid? Well, that trapezoid area would be equal to the larger triangle minus the smaller triangle divided by 3, right? Because we have three congruent trapezoid areas. So this must be equal to root 3 over 4x squared minus root 3 over 9x squared, all multiplied by 1 over 3. So if I scroll down to give ourselves some room, let's simplify this. That must be equal to root 3 over 12x squared minus root 3 over 27x squared. Now, don't bother simplifying this because typically the ratios will all cancel out in the very end. This is the first area that we need to compare it to. But what is the area of what? We're, what are we trying to compare it to? What is the ratio of the area of one trapezoid to the area of the inner triangle? Well, the inner triangle is this small triangle right here. And that ratio, right, would be comparing to root 3 over 9x squared. In other words, we're trying to find what is um, root 3 over 12 x squared minus root 3 over 27 x squared divided by root 3 over 9 x squared. What does this simplify to? Well, we all share a common variable of x squared. So that gets simplified into root 3 over 12 minus root 3 over 27 over root 3 over 9. Now, they all share a root 3. So that root 3 gets canceled out, becomes 1 over 12 minus 1 over 27 times 1 over 9. Now it just comes down to simplifying this ratio and we're done. So that's what I meant when I said that you always want to suppose one variable and ultimately you establish an overall ratio such as the one I have right here and then that variable ultimately gets simplified out. And then all you're left with is very simple and nice looking numbers that you just have to simplify. So what is 9 times 1 over 12 minus 1 over 27? Well, let's multiply by a least common ratio here, or factor. 12 and 27, that's 3 times 2 squared, and that is equal to 3 cubed. So in other words, for 1 over 12, 1 over 12 needs to be multiplied by 3 squared, right? This needs to be multiplied by 3 squared in order to get um, some common uh factor, so then that multiplied by 3 squared, so that must be multiplied by 3 squared, subtracted by 1 over 27. Well, 27 lacks a square, a 2 squared term, so that must be multiplied by 2 squared, this multiplied by 2 squared. So then this must be equal to 9 times parentheses um, 12, so that's 3 times 4, so that's 3 squared times 2 squared, or 3 to, yeah, 3 to the third times, so 3 to the third times 2 squared. That is the common, uh, the least common factor, or the least common multiple. So that's 27 times 4. So uh, let's just leave it like that. 27 times 4, because we have to simplify. So then that's 9 minus 4. Now, 9, right, divided by 27 gives 3. 3 times 4 is 12. That's 5 over 12. That should be our final answer. So if you scroll up, the answer is answer choice C.